Irom Chanu Sharmila says she is hurt and disappointed at people's attitude. Red Cross Society Manipur State Branch offers a shelter to Irom Chanu Sharmila. Bomb blasts continue to rock various parts of Manipur. Two blasts occurred in two districts today, injuring one minor girl at Mapo Dam. And BJP forms 10-member committee to drop discrepancies in National Food Security Act in Manipur. And Loktak Development Authority claims that number of migratory birds has increased after the cleaning of Loktak Lake. Hello and welcome to Impact News and watching Primetime English News. And I'm Kishore Chandrawan Kimcha with the latest news at this hour. Speaking exclusively to Impact News, Irom Chenu Sharmila said she is hurt and disappointed by the attitude of the people of Manipur after her release yesterday. She also appealed to the people of Manipur to let her become the Chief Minister of Manipur to remove the draconian law OPSPA from the state and bring a positive change in the society. <laughs> They make me chief minister. I, I will remove this draconian law and something will see, something positive. Yesterday at Kaisham Thong, when the angry crowd gathered to attack me mentally by, by then. The Indian democracy is, I think, a joke. It's not a real democracy. After she was uh, unable to get a shelter, an organization has come out to provide shelter to Sharmila. Iram Chandu Sharmila will be given a shelter by Red Cross Society Manipur State Branch. After breaking her fast yesterday, today Iram Sharmila had Horlicks and rice water mixed with honey as her first meal. It may be mentioned that Irom Chenu Sharmila, after her release yesterday, spoke to media and broke her fast, ending 16 years of fast demanding repeal of AFSPA. She first went to Kaisam Pat Laiswam Lerak, where the locals protested her presence there. Uh, thereafter, she went to Shamu Makong, after which she went to City Police Station. Thereafter, at 8 p.m. in the evening, she prayed at Skon Temple. She finally returned to Jenims after 8.45 p.m. Speaking to media persons at JNIMS, Dr. Y. Mohan, Secretary of Red Cross Society, Manipur State Branch, said they have taken the decision to provide her shelter after one week. She will be on a semi-liquid diet in JNIMS under the medical supervision. He also said Red Cross Society is involved in humanitarian work, which is why they have decided to provide shelter to Sharmila. However, the Red Cross Society, Manipur State Branch, insisted that she will not be allowed to involve in active politics during her stay at the Red Cross. Purely him is Jen Gaundani, a doctor in among the condition of Kaktangani, Red Cross, the lading a daddy, any political activities involved in the list of Bigano Hagani because we are non political him is Jen, purely him is Jen and the partisan service need. When the auxiliary was like the situation, Sida, my alternative later, Madame Sida, Sangha and P. Bahiba Sida, that they organized me on the Sukhigi. Red Cross ki principal with the humanitarian, independent, the voluntary, equality, unity, universality. Hai ba principal tarat si da wag tau zabani na akoi ki thabak si da may amna su arau biro ay na kanje. Meanwhile, Irom Chanu Sharmila is being closely monitored by the doctors of Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences. Sharmila, who was lodged in the security ward of JNIMS, is being monitored as a normal patient at a special ward of the hospital after she was released by the court. Speaking to Impact News, JNIMS Director Dr. L. Dibin said there is a possibility that Sharmila's GI tract, stomach and other organs might have undergone some biological changes due to long fasting as she is complaining of stomach ache, vomit and fatigue. 
Dr. Eldeman also maintained that it is the responsibility of doctors to treat any patient and Sharmila is not an exception. Mention may be met that after the court released her yesterday, Sharmila looked for a suitable shelter but security personnel took her to JNMs at around 8 in the evening after all the options failed. As soon as Sharmila was brought at JNMs, she was admitted to emergency ward and doctors attended her immediately and administered medicine. Masi bailout oi ra banina, masi free oi ra banina, masi Sharmila oi na nataba. As a patient, anaba amoi na, maksi kui ki casualty da pukat piro, loga casualty ki doctor sing sina, yeng loo matung da concern department, high the medicine, makui ki medicine ki doctor sing consultant sing kauraga, masi water admit to biraga, when anaba si fanana ba magi problem si. So, the people who are living in the world are Bomb blasts continue to rock various parts of Manipur as two blasts occurred today, injuring one minor girl. The first blast occurred near a check post of 49 BSF battalion at Mapodam in Senapati district, but falling under Lamlai police station at around 9.30 in the morning. A minor girl who was inside and roadside eatery was injured in the blast. Both the legs of the minor girl were injured in the blast. She was rushed to Christian Hospital, Dualalan. Thereafter, she was admitted at Prims. Additional security forces, including personnel of Lamlai Police Station, rushed to the spot to take stock of the situation. Condemning the bomb blast in the residential area, Mapo Dam Youth Development Organization Secretary S. Lupo urged the authorities to remove the check post or keep the check post open 24 hours. <laughs> Makoina <laughs> The second blast took place near Little Rose School, Kanjipur, along with the National Highway at around 12.35 today. No one was, however, injured in the blast. Sources said four vehicles of Assam rifles were passing on the road when the blast occurred. Mention may be made that nine blasts have occurred in the last few days in the state in the run-up to Independence Day celebration. One powerful IED exploded near BT Park on August 5, three low-intensity IEDs exploded at Kangpopi and two in More on August 8, while another IED exploded at Kagempali Hudrom Lekai day before yesterday. Mapithel Dam affected Chingtam organization and Mapithel Dam multi-purpose project displaced village committee condemned today's blast at Mapo Bazar. The joint committee urged a particular organization to clarify the action and not to repeat such action in dam area in future. A large number of students of Little Master English Higher Secondary School, Samuro, today stayed to sit in and later took out a protest rally on Mayai Lambi against the hurling of hand grenade in the school complex at 8 in the evening yesterday. Protesting students shouted slogans such as we condemn hurling of bum at school and make education a free zone. Secretary of the Management Committee of the school, Moirang Mayum Okendrajit said, Little Master High Secondary School is imparting education to the students with a very reasonable fee and trying its best to produce best students in the state. Okendrajit also added that no individual or group has served any monetary demand to the school. Khabarda, smai ta udhar tujhon sabein din nagi higher secondary home ka thinglani gan high badi koi khabar nasi mujhe na mayampur mujhe tabi dunye. Sina tabato pa koi da kai ma phone da na tragana 
any group of Mogi, any one, Sinamog school, the lak, the Nakotona, Koda, Kangan, Makambo, Laite, Boycott, Tarogani, Hai, Zimram, Zikarino, Habesia, Tasim, Kangani, Hoy School Zim, PM, Sangolo, Haribra, like the Bidre Haribra, Nasana, School Pass Pass, Nest Pajetri Haribra, Kari Haribra, Habito, Tasin of Kangan Biogo. Meanwhile, a former principal of the school, Moirang Wayum Toibo, appealed not to connect the dictate served by Maoist Communist Party, banning him from contesting the 2017 general election and hurling of the bomb at the school. Toibo said he retired from the school three years back and handed over the school to young and dynamic professionals to run the school and he is now taking part in active politics. Moirang Mayum Thoiva also appealed not to hamper in the smooth running of the school and also appealed to the group concerned to retract the ban from contesting an election. With increasing incident of bomb blast ahead of Independence Day, Manipur Police is intensifying search operation in Infal area. Infal East Police, led by additional SP operation W. Singhajit Singh, conducted search operation at New Chekon from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. today. Eight persons were taken to Porampat Police Station for further verification and later released. Now, Manipur government has released a new draft bill, the Manipur Regulation of Non-Local People Act 2016, to regulate the non-local people coming to the state of Manipur and to protect the interests of the indigenous people of the state. The base year of the new bill has been set at January 21, 1972, the day Manipur state attained full-fledged statehood. The draft bill has been uploaded on www.manipur.gov.in for public suggestions, which may be sent to Additional Chief Secretary, Home Government of Manipur, Manipur Secretary, South Block, Infal, or email to home.undersecretary at gmail.com before August 24. Non-local has been ident has been defined in the new draft bill as the person who is a citizen of India but who has not been a resident of the state of Manipur before January 21, 1972. Establishment of a Directorate of Registration of Non-Local and Tenants has also been incorporated in the new bill. Now, Loktak Development Authority LDA has claimed that the quality of water of Loktak Lake has improved and the number of migratory birds in the lake has increased considerably after the cleaning of the lake. According to the report of the LDA, more than 20,000 migratory birds were recorded in the Loktak Lake last year and more than 50,000 migratory have been recorded this year. Speaking to me, their person at a press conference organized by DIPR at Moirang Kom, LDA Project Director Longjam Bhagaton said the LDA aims to work jointly with various stakeholders and authorities to maintain the largest freshwater lake in the Northeast. Longjam Bhagaton stated that the water of rivers at the Nambul in particular which fall into the lake has polluted the water of the Loktak Dirtier. He also said a barrage to treat the water of the Nambul River will be constructed at Hiang Thang. The project director told the media that LDA has removed 131.56 lakh cubic meter of Pumdi from the core zone of the lake. <laughs> It was some sort of misconnections. We are part of the Nambul project. And Technical know how we are planning for that. 
SP of Manipur State Vigilance Commission R.K. Memi said the duty of the State Vigilance Commission is to give recommendation to the departments. Speaking to me at a press conference organized by DIPR at its complex, she said it is not the duty of the commission to monitor whether the departments take action or not. She said the commission managed to submit 19 inquiry cases, 4 FIRs, 4 charge sheets and 2 final reports to the concerned courts between 2015-16, while 15 persons have been arrested. Mamie also said the commission is facing problems due to lack of infrastructure and armed personnel. Department sing sing na akoi na hangi ba siya sam pibi rak tabang ma. Char si tong na bohot na ba da expert opinion hang da ba na maram oid na thing tabang ma. Police station oid na declare tau brabasu. Akoi gi armed personal leza da ba. Isagi own mal khana leza da ba. Isagi own lock up leza da ba. Ado na akoi na local police station sing da request tau oid ba. Mi si pabi oid. Ado ko ngasi pabi oid da unfortunately mag yam na tabang sing bina su oid ba yai. New office building of Old Manipur United Clubs organization Amuko was inaugurated today at Kwakatil Akham Lekai. Renowned social worker T.H. Iboyaima was among those present at the inauguration. Chairman of Construction Committee Amutko, K.T. Rahman, thanked the people for their support in the construction of the office building of the 23-year-old organization. He said Amuko invites the people of all communities living in the state to hold meetings and discussions in the hall of the office. Asikumba Amuko office asik lairabani na tongan tongan bat section ki Manipur lairiba guru khudi makhi meoi khudi makhi tongan tongan bat thok 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 sing lag tu na apa bata tan apa da ekoi maya Manipur maya bo kanglub jati ki wakal ekoi lejade taram na okani mafam sida lag tu na magi magi darkar hoy ba. प्रेस में दिया कि खुदांग द खंगन निंबा न त्रगना मुखों की वही बा तोंगा तोंगा बा फोंग दोग निंबा मीटिंग न सिंग बताऊं बता अमुखों की होल सिदा लाग तो न तो वीर बता एक होई मधु की अजाब अपी जगने भारतीय जनता पार्टी मणिपुर प्रदेश हैज कंस्टिट्यूटेड अ टेन मेंबर कमिटी टू प्रॉब द डिस्क्रिपेंसीज � President of BJP Manipur Pradesh, Ketrimium Bhavananda, today accused the Manipur government of turning a deaf ear to the party's voice raised against dis discrepancies in the implementation of the act in the state. He said the committee will probe the irregularities in the preparation of cards for the beneficiaries. Speaking to me that today, KSH Bhavananda said the committee will investigate it in three phases, the irregularities in the distribution of rice to the beneficiaries and preparation of cards. In the first phase, the committee will probe the matter in the constituencies in Greater Imphal. In the second and third phase, the committee will go to rural and hill areas. He said the report of the committee will be submitted to Union Minister Ram Vilas Pashmand within this month. On the first day, the committee visited Kaisam Thong and Singjangmei constituencies to see if the act is being implemented properly. Food security system is Tizen na na ba na kuya na committee mga nan samsa bni. May ano nyo na kung na dunay lahi hajik security act si chum na chalay rakta bdi ki ng si pagjamiyam na pangda ba ching chat mayam mo pangda na hajik wad dunay lahi. Si act si kuya na pagjan na chalay halaga di masi kuya na kitang kuya na pressure kara piraga may na tauri ba thabak si kitang chum thola ga di pagjagi chakung si kitang pangda hai bigi asad ni kuya na ng si changjali bsi si mga na loy na mga kuya na correction tau ni hai bigi kuya ni kano di nati adu bsi may na tauri ba aran bdu pagjad kara expose tau ba kuya irregularity may am do kuya na chum thok pang ambo makay di kuya chum thol na ambo kuya swing 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 na kuya hone jagani Bharatiya Janata Yuva Morcha, Manipur Pradesh will hold a series of programs this month in respect of the martyrs of Manipur. Speaking to media at its office at Nitai Pachutek, BJYM President Pukhrambam Somojit said, around 500 volunteers of BJYM Imphal East, Imphal West and Imphal Central will take out a motorcycle rally on August 12th from Thao Ground and pass through different parts of Imphal City. And a painting competition on Anglo-Manipuri War and Seven Years Devastation will also be organized on August 14 for students of up to Class 12 in two categories. Somajit also maintained that BJYM will also hold symposium, organized tree plantation program and patriotic song competition till August 31. 
BJYM also appealed to all concerned to extend support in organizing the series of programs. All over India, the Pantuk of program, Maga, Marilena, Pantuk Savani, I River Bike Lady, she went 500 bike Toba, I River Pogamasi, Pantuk Savani, 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 Pantuk BJP the central so hine do main to na politically district ahum sida pangthok jagani 14 august 2016 dana painting competition ma tok jagani 16 to 21st august pokina pura week ma chatharaga tree plantation ni program ma bjy na men ko tonga tonga ba mandan sinda koi pangthok jagani Bharatiya Janata Party Khundrakpam Mandal today felicitated the new entrants to the party. The felicitation was held at the residence of Pradhan of Uyumpok Gram Panchayat e K. Ichal, BJP State Convener R. K. Somorjit, State Executive Member S. Manglen Jao and the members of Khundrakpam Mandal attended the felicitation. Welcoming the new members, as Manglem Jao said, more and more people are joining the BJP after they see the various welfare programs launched by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He said the people's support for the party will be reflected in the 2017 Assembly election. <laughs> The 12 hour ban called by JC of Lysram Rashmani has affected life in Maya Lambi today. Lysram Rashmani died in RIMS Emergency Department on July 28, and the JC has been demanding inquiry report into the death. The ban has been called to protest the delay in the report by the inquiry committee. The ban hit life in Langtabal Lep Makalekai as protesters blocked roads by placing electric poles and three branches. However, the band did not affect the essential services and religious functions. Paminava Matamji, the Hosikson neglect or Ramon Postmortem, the Winnie Postmortem report Yogi, I call him a Sigirian Pibang and Drek and Hamta Wung and Drenhar. I didn't know in Hanumit Marini the Pig and Yarago, you copying and the Carigino and Wangangare. Pare, Hosik Postmortem to get a toroid and Milkian, the Pig, the gay having a port to the Munsukan Panta Wung and I Time now for a short commercial break. Keep watching Impact News. You manu ge application ge mapung fava solution pir ba Dura Sign G6 season abiyo. Dura Sign Asit Tata Blue Scope Stay Limited ke flagship retail brand ni. Dura Sign Liner ge kudong chaba sing di you manu ge matsung mapan ge application ge khwai digi yang ba phanglang kup na ba. Yan thaba siling amasung phanglang khai dok na ba gi irai live solution pi. Panel singa do phai ba ma di chap yung ga mic install to bai. Dura Sign Tata Blue Scope Stay. Welcome back to watching Prime Time English News. Second round of National Dewarming Day on the theme Warm Free Children Are Healthy Children was launched today at Wangkai High School, Wangkai Pukrambam Lekai. The launch was organized by Directorate of Health Services and the State Health Society Manipur. The State Health Society is targeting to administer dewarming tablets to more than 10 lakh children. The objectives of the National Dewarming Day is to dewarm all preschool and school age children between the ages of 1 to 19 years at school and Anganwadi centers in order to improve their overall health, nutritional status, cognitive development and quality of life. To combat parasitic worm infections among preschool, Anganwadi and school age children, Albendazol 400mg chewable tablets will be administered to children at government, government-aided and private schools and Anganwadis. 
At the launch, students were administered abelanzol tablets. Speaking on occasion, Director Health Services and State Mission Dr. O. Ibom Cha said that it is necessary to administer deworming tablets to, to children in order to have a developed society in the future. He also advised the student to wash hands regularly and maintain cleanliness. Addressing the gathering, Health and Family Welfare Minister D.K. Korong Thang said children need to be healthy as they are going to be the future pillar of the society. He also said that ASHAs and Anganwadi workers need awareness for the successful implementation of the second round of National Deworming Day. Forest departments along with police personnel evicted five houses which were built encroaching upon the foothill of Iroisemba Manning Lekai Zoo Road. Speaking to me there, Principal Chief Conservator of Forest PN Prasad said the area is under Langol Reserved Forest, Southern Southern West Range. He said the families were informed to vacate the area in 2011. Meanwhile, the evicted families expressed dissatisfaction at the government's actions, saying that the eviction notice was given yesterday only. They said the department should have given some time to them after the eviction notice. Poster campaign organized by a coalition for indigenous right campaign Sarka Manipur as a prelude to the commemoration of the Independence Day of Manipur from British rule on August 14, 1947 kicked off today. Sarka will observe Manipur Independence Day on August 14 at Sanakonu. The campaign covered Kwairamban Kaitel, Nagamapal, Thangwebun and Tangal Kaitel. Sarka member Namarapam Edison appealed to people living in the hills and the valley to take part in the observance. Mapithel Dam affected Chingtam organization and joined Redressal Council in a joint press release appeal to the state government to resolve the issue in connection with the construction of Mapithel Dam. In, it also asked the government to compensate the villages affected by the dam. The release warned that if the government did not take any action within 15 days, there will be total shutdown in hill districts, national highways and state highways. Helping Hand, an NGO formed by various Delhi-based NGOs and students' organization of North East, is giving 15 to 80 percent concession in the medical expenses incurred in the treatment in Delhi to patients from North East who are below poverty line. The initiative was taken up under the guidance of Nodal Officer of North East People, Delhi Police, Robin Hibu. The NGO had reached to end understanding with authorities of 52 different hospitals in Delhi. Speaking to me that Hotel Imphal, Vice President of Helping Hand, Dr. T. Sangita said, so far around 200 patients from North East have availed the benefits. Anyone who wishes to avail the benefits may contact Helping Hand Manipur office at Kairang Maning Lekai. Sangita also added that one needs to obtain a form from and submit to North East Bureau Shell, Nanakpura Police Station, Delhi to avail the benefit. Delhi da matam kui na mayam gi mating pangagalay rakpada ana balayeng balakpada pashalay tabagi na traga ashiba hakshang pu na bagi pashalay tabagi shumba incidents mayam zay thing na rakpada gi ako ina helping hands zay form tog zay gibani north east tagi layeng balak pa mayam sing na below poverty lines tala iba mayam sing yam nidi o iba mayam sing na layeng balak pa da ako ina fifteen to eighty percent discount pizza ni and now, before we wind up, here is a quick reminder of the headlines once again. Irom Shamila says that she is hurt and disappointed at people's attitude. Red Cross Society Manipur State Brand offers shelter to Irom Chanu Shamila. Bomb blasts continue to rock various parts of Panipur. Two blasts occurred in two districts today, injuring one minor girl at Mapo Dam. BJP forms 10-member committee to prop discrepancies in National Food Security Act in Manipur. 
And Loktak Development Authority claims that number of migratory birds has increased after the cleaning of Loktak Lake.